All right, how do you know when you're getting stronger? Is it based on how tired you are? Is it based on how sore you feel? No, none of those things. You know you're getting stronger when your weights are going up. So what that looks like is if you're doing bicep curls and your goal is eight reps and you're doing 30 pounds and you're able to get eight reps with good form and the eighth rep, whether it's difficult or not, you get them all. So then the next time you do bicep curls, you should be bumping up to 35 pounds. And then you know what, you might get six, you might get seven. You're not to the point yet of your goal of eight reps to move up the weight. So you push yourself, keep your good form, your good technique, and then once you get to eight, you bump your weight up. Now sometimes, of course, we have a higher rep range. Sometimes we'll do four or five weeks at eight reps. Sometimes we'll do 12, sometimes we'll do 15. We'll change the rep. And we're just trying to change the stimulus on your muscles, right? Because what you'll find as you get stronger and progress is that it's gonna be harder to move your weights up. So for example, when I'm benching, I've been benching for a very long time. So my progress is very slow. I'm not bumping up 15, 20 pounds ever, right? My, the most I, I bump up is usually five pounds, right? And, and it usually takes me sometimes a few weeks to get to that point, right? So remember, you can progress with your weights and you can progress with your reps. So if your goal is 12, first week you get eight, second week nine, third week 11, finally you're at 12, now you move your weight up. So the concept is progressive overload. That's what we refer to it as. And that's what you're looking for. You wanna get stronger. You want your weights to go up over time. So if you notice that you are um, doing exercises and they're always very easy and you stop, that means you're not pushing yourself. You're not really working your muscles to the point where you're really gonna get very much stronger and, and, and build that muscle tissue that you're looking for. So you really do need to push your weights up. And this is why it's important to have challenging weights, right? And so some of you may have really light dumbbells that you're using consistently at 10 pounds, five pounds, 15 pounds, and you need to get uh, start considering getting heavier dumbbells so that you can start pushing yourself more. I mean, there, the, the saying is no pain, no gain, and I generally subscribe to that 100%, right? If, um, if we're just stopping once the pain hits, then we're not really pushing ourselves to the point where we're really gonna build muscle and, and strength. So you gotta push yourself, you gotta go hard. Now you don't wanna start off the first week going too hard, right? You're building to this. You're building endurance, you're building some strength, you're building your technique too. Technique's really important. So if your technique isn't right, and then you just throw on a bunch of weight, and, you know, you're throwing dumbbells around, that's when you're gonna hurt yourself too. So I'm not looking for you to do anything that's unwise, given your age, given your skill level with weightlifting. So progressive overload, important concept. You wanna be moving those weights up over time. You got this.